Hi, I'm Tony Stefani with Hillside Christmas Tree Farm. For this video, I want to do something a little different. Um, I wanted to take you out of the fields and into the office and kind of teach you something about Christmas tree growth. So let's take a look. I believe that in order to go good to Christmas trees, one must first understand how Christmas trees grow. Once this is understood, it makes pruning the trees easier because you'll understand how the tree will react to your work and will open the door to experimenting in hopes to produce harvestable trees in a shorter amount of time. Here, I will show you two examples of trees and their various stages of growth over what was their 2012 and 13 growing years. The first tree is a Canaan fir. At the end of the 2012 growing season, this tree grew at least a 24 inch long leader. Now most people would look at that and say, wow, that's too long and immediately cut it down to the standard 12 to 14 inch length. When pruning our trees, every single tree is analyzed based on their unique qualities. When pruning, I keep two things in mind. First, how many years until harvest? This tells me how long I have for the tree to fill in. Second, can I leave the crown on the tree? The tree knows how it wants to grow and that crown holds the energy to tell the rest of the tree that, hey, I'm the leader. Do you ever notice that after you cut the crown, that's when you start getting competing shoots to become the new leader? So to evaluate if I can leave the crown, I look at the stem's bud density and I ask myself, will the pr leader produce enough side shoots to fill any holes? Usually my rule of thumb is if there's at least two bud per inch, the tree will fill in. So now with this information, this tree has a 24 inch leader, is at least three years from harvest and has a bud density of at least three buds per inch. So I left it alone. Now here, on June 1st of the next growing year, in 2013, we start seeing how the tree is growing. First, see why I didn't want to cut that leader. It was a perfect bud set with one center bud and six laterals. Also notice the bud density or growth along the leader's stem. Here, on June 23rd, the tree is filling in nicely. At the end of the 2013 growing season, we are now two years from harvest. Here, I would trim the leader and start thinking about, in 2014, I want the tree to start filling in. I'm hoping this tree could be a 9 to 10 foot tree at harvest. This is just a before and after. I think we essentially got two years of growth in one year. Now, not every tree is going to support, support this, but with this knowledge, one can potentially have some nice taller trees in their fields. Tree number two is another Canaan fir. This tree had a good 14 inch leader and about eight inch laterals. So I left this one alone as well. Same as tree number one, three years from harvest. I really wanted to see how the laterals would grow on this tree. They look to be about half the length of the leader, which is sometimes borderline for me. I like to leave them less than half, but that's what we're doing here, watching and learning. So let's see what happens. On June 1st, we see the growth happening. A little interesting, I thought this tree was gonna develop multiple leaders and would need to be cut out. But a few days later, the tree corrected itself. I believe the leader looks weaker because of the other laterals were, were bunched around it, as we can see in these pictures. On 623, we see that the tree is growing nicely. Notice the growth of the laterals. They're shooting out really pretty far, kind of in this area here. These pictures are taken on 7-7, end of the growing year. We are now two years from harvest. I would trim the leader in the top whorl and give the tree a good shape. In regards to the previous year's lateral branches, they really grew out and would be trimmed down this year. I'm very happy with how the crown area filled in from last year to this year. I hope you found this video useful and, I, and will keep it in mind the next time you're pruning your trees. And if you did enjoy the video, I would greatly appreciate if you subscribe to the channel and let me know if you have questions or comments below. Thanks for watching. So that was my video on Canaan fir growth. I hope uh, you learned something and found it useful. I hope that you take that information into the field with you and remember that every tree is unique and time spent pruning could uh, pay dividends in the end. Like I said with that long leader, we did get a tall tree that year and it's because that we individually evaluate these trees. So I hope you like it. Uh, I know it was a little different format. Let me know what you think of that format because I have some other ideas that I could show you using it. And uh, 
Thanks again for watching.